concept of goal-directed perfusion is basically uh, to shift from the conventional paradigm of a perfusion based on the body surface area and the temperature of the patient towards a more advanced concept uh, that is uh, looking at the number of metabolic parameters that are guiding us towards the best possible perfusion for that individual patient in terms of the adequacy of what we are giving to the patients in terms of pump flow and oxygen content. <music>
the uh, rate of echo kidney injury in the control group was 2 to 2.5 times higher than in the GDP arm. I think it's already changing this. I mean, it's a matter of, uh, of course, uh, different countries, different level of uh, believing in, in this concept. But actually, it's already quite very well established. It's already included in guidelines. I mean, the recently released guidelines of the European Association of Cardiothoracic Surgery and Cardiothoracic Anesthesia joined together. Uh, they are actually stating that this level of DO2 of 270 uh, should be maintained during perfusion. And the, there are ongoing guidelines of the same societies together with the perfusionist uh, focused on CPB management and I'm sure that this will be included in the guidelines. <music> Again, it's a matter of uh, shifting from manual calculations and uh, actually uh, serial calculations towards a much more uh, useful uh, possibility of having all this data online and so you can react. I mean, it's a matter of being very fast reacting to every condition that is leading the patient outside this uh, uh, framework of the eco-lerated perfusion. Uh, big data is actually the, the new frontier because we, we need a lot of numbers to really uh, start finding association and as a second step looking for causative effects. And so this uh, enormous amount of data, I mean, we, we can, with, with this system, with the Connect, we can collect all the metabolic parameters every 10 seconds, 20 seconds, whatever we want. So uh, theoretically, we have an enormous amount of data for each patient and then an even more enormous amount in the general population. So uh, I'm quite sure that many other possible insights may uh, come from the analysis of this uh, big data. I think that the, the main concept that we should absolutely try to deliver is that the perfusionist may change the outcome. It's, it's not anymore a simple uh, uh, character within a movie. He is a, a real actor, he is able to change the outcome in the right way, he is able probably to change the renal risk and so the, the role of the perfusionist within the surgical team uh, will actually improve a lot. Mm -hmm.